the daddy said do 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 do, do when the point right today today my daddy is making kombucha and yes. he wants me to film a video and he wants me whatever he points at and I will video I I video back. Okay, so Knox is gonna point over here, right? Point over yeah. here, Knox. No, 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 with the camera, bud. There you go. So I use um, organic green tea and, green and organic green tea, black tea, black tea. These are about four dollars a box, and they have seventy tea bags in them each. Yeah. And they're at Whole Foods. So and then I also use flour. Okay, you got it. You're, you're not pointing it, bud. Um, flour. I need you to use this is organic cane sugar. And organic so cane sugar. I only use organic stuff, and then I use filtered water, and then I, I bring filtered water to a bowl. So bring it over here. Show the show the pitcher right here. There's my pitcher, and if you don't have one of those, that's called a water boiler. And if you don't have one of those, then uh, oh. you can use something else. Okay, just, just stop. Just stop. And right, um, so once I got the water. Boiling. Video in here. Okay. We'll pour more water in here. It's not quite to the boiling temperature, but it's close. Right. So then, all I'm going to do is I'm going to dump one cup, cup of organic sugar in here. Right. You you just focus on the video. Okay. Hey boy. Hey. Okay. I'm 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 doing the video for Daddy's camera. I'm okay. This is just. Hello. Look over here, bud. Now I'm gonna stir up my sugar while this water's still really hot. Right. Stay focused on there. And then I'm gonna put four bags of green that tea. That is going around. That's fine. It's fine. I'm put four bags of green tea. So four bags. and four bags of black tea. So eight bags total. So what, you can what? do. You can use all what? black tea or you can use all green tea, but I always do a blend. So and then you just let them sit in there, and I let them soak. And basically, that's all I do. So, one cup of organic sugar, mm -hmm. eight tea bags for a gallon, right? And I'm going to make a gallon eventually, you'll see. And then I use, like I said, I use four bags of green tea and four bags of black, black tea. tea. You can use different teas if you want to, but, but uh, that's what I use. And now I'm going to let it sit and cool off naturally. So, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, the second step is I took the tea that I brewed in this uh, container here um, and I let it cool down. You can either add ice to it or just let it cool down over time. Uh, and then I poured it into this one gallon jug here, which is just a vinegar bottle that I just reused because it holds a gallon. Because the recipe I told you, the eight tea bags and the one cup of sugar is for a gallon. And I just kind of uh, diluted it down to a gallon by adding some more water to it and now it's ready to be kind of put into uh, the kombucha batch um, I'm going to flavor a couple of bottles um, with just some lemons and some lime juice and that's just kind of what I want to use you can flavor with whatever right cut up fruit or whatever you want to do um, and then you just kind of top it off with kombucha so I'll get that next step Okay, the flavoring of kombucha can be done any number of ways. There's no like uh, one way it has to be done. We, uh, I typically do something really easily like uh, lemons or limes or today I'm doing uh, lemon, uh, lemon, I'm filming, yes, lemon ginger. So I just shred a little bit of ginger, throw it in these uh, little funnels with a coffee filter and squeeze some lemon in it and let that sit there for a little bit and then after it drains for a little while, I'll go and just top it off with kombucha. It's really quite easy. Uh, you can do anything else though. Uh, lemon juice, lime juice. Uh, I do um, a lot of fruit. Well, I'll just kind of like cut it up in like a blender and, uh, and pour it in there. Uh, it does kind of make it obviously have some uh, residual stuff in the bottom, but if you don't like that, you can do something just like juices. But this is always a pretty good one, this lemon ginger. So simple, it's organic ginger and um, these are organic lemons. I'm just uh, 
I like to do the organic thing. Uh, not saying that you have to do that, but that's what I like to do. So the vessel downstairs that we're going to go to in just a minute, you'll see, um, that's my big two liter, uh, two and a half, not liter, two and a half gallon container. And you don't have to use that. Uh, I just think that makes it easier because it has a spigot on the bottom of it. You'll see it in a minute. But you can additionally just use like a, a large jar, like a large one gallon pickle jar works great. Um, there are all kinds of books on recipes and stuff like that, but you know, I always look to, to uh, the store bought ones and kind of just for like examples uh, in regards to what they put in theirs and that kind of thing. So we'll finish this up and then I'm going to um, go downstairs and top it off. Okay, this is kind of uh, poor lighting conditions, but that's because of my cellar and I purposely brew it down here where it's nice and dark. Uh, supposed to be like a pretty temperate uh, place that's dark for the most part. So this is my kombucha um, container. And all it is is a two and a half gallon, uh, you know, drink maker kind of thing. So um, it's got this little spigot on it, which makes it really easy. So inside of there, you can see the scobies, right? So makes a bunch of them every time you make it it basically makes another one let's see if i can get you a good image of it here so looks like a big giant white mushroom you can probably see a couple of them stacked on top of each other like pancakes uh, occasionally i'll just tear one off and give it to somebody or i'll feed it to my chickens either way so right now i'm going to pour um the kombucha that i made already into this uh with the with the lemon and lime stuff that I was doing earlier. And I'm gonna just gonna fill this up. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, um, simple as that, all right? I'm gonna fill this to the top. Leave it a little bit, you know, like maybe right at the very top here. Uh, you wanna fill it close to the top, so if it ferments anymore, it'll cause a little bit of carbonation. Uh, sometimes mine carbonate pretty good, and sometimes they don't, and I don't particularly care either way. Um, I don't really have a preference one way or the other. Still tastes good. So I'm filling this one up now. <clears throat> Won't take long. And again, flavor it, don't flavor it, however you want to do it. Um, I've never really made any kind of bad flavor, so any, everything tastes a little bit different, but it's never bad in my opinion. Get it to about here. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna put the top on it. shake it up a couple times make sure that lemon and lime juice get kind of spread throughout and you set it over here and we'll fill up another one just like that and I'll come back okay hopefully you can tell that I've drained a fair amount of my kombucha out um, and now I just got to replenish it so the tea I made earlier I'm just going to I give it one more good shake and simple as that you just pour it right in And you'll want to cover it with, I usually cover it with a coffee filter. Something that's breathable uh, because it does produce a lot of CO2 So while it's fermenting. So it will like blow the top off of something if you have it, you know, tightly, um, you know, capped or whatever. So usually you use something like this, cheesecloth, they'll say, but I always use coffee filters are cheap and they're disposable and they get kind of nasty. And... Uh, just secure it with band. And the reason you want to do this, again, you want to let it breathe. Uh, but fruit flies will be attracted to this if uh, they find it. 
keep it in a nice dark place. I shouldn't be able to find it, but I wouldn't risk it because they'll it'll mess your whole batch up. So hopefully you can tell here, right? It's filled pretty much to the top. And I'm gonna let it sit for about seven days. You can vary that time a little bit. Um, you could do it a day or two before seven um, if you want it a little less sour, or you could do it a few days after seven to make it a little more kind of sour and vinegary. So uh, that's pretty much the basics of it. Let it sit there and repeat the process in a week roughly.